This man needs no introduction, but for the people who may not know, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let people know some of the joints you've been on and the legendary diplomat crew. Let people know y'all legacy. Oh, uh, well, for those that's not in the know, it's your boy, Hal Brown, aka Mr. Ruga Ruga. And, uh, I mean, you know, part of legendary group diplomats. Had a nice solo career, extensive catalog, featured on all the diplomat projects, all the solos, crazy catalog with oh. the mixtape. I kind of want to start before you got with the diplomats, uh -huh. you know, because you came in an interesting era mm -hmm. in, in hip hop. Right. You know, it was still fierce competition in New York City. You know, I call it, a lot of people call it the DVD era. So, I'm hearing that a lot. Yeah. DVD era, right? Yeah, for sure. So, this was an interesting era because it was like right before the internet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, you had was MySpace might have been out at the time, but people didn't use the internet as a part of, you know, their marketing strategy. Right. So if you can take us back to that time period and what it take what it took to come up as an MC at that time. I mean at that particular time, uh, there was no social media, so you have to really be outside. Like outside, outside. If a nigga called you out, you have to pull up this one nigga block. You know what I'm saying? And there had to be several witnesses that verified it. So it was like, it wasn't no, you know, it's kind of like, throw, throw, your, throw, throw a shot and hide your hand type of hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you had to be hands on pre social media as far as an MC. And uh, yeah, man, if you wasn't outside, you uh, you missed out on opportunities. You had to be in them ciphers, you had to have them bars. You couldn't have the same name as another nigga. And pre social media, a nigga was pulling up to your block. I was trying to film it because we had no cameras. But it was niggas out there to verify niggas pulled up on you. Whether it was for some beef, whether it was you stole a nigga bars. You feel what I'm saying? Like niggas took hip hop very, very serious prior to social media. For sure.